Investigates. JLR Investigates. Come on in, everyone. Come on in. A developing situation out of Los Angeles. As some of you may or may not know, um, a deputy was shot while sitting in his vehicle. Los Angeles uh, Sheriff deputy was sitting in his vehicle outside the Palmdale Sheriff's Office a couple days ago. Uh, they were looking for the person that did it. And it looks like a person of interest has been detained. And I'm going to show you video here. We're going to play this clip here because this guy was just taken into custody during the early morning hours of today. So it looks like they have their person. They haven't identified this person yet, but this is pretty wild. This is a pretty wild scene here. And I'm going to share what's going on here with this. the whole neighborhood. This is Palmdale. Looks like they're busting through his windows. There he is. It's the guy right there. Hard to see with my shadow, but you get the point. Taken into custody, folks. Pretty wild. And then let me get some information about who this person is. Because apparently he was taken into custody like early this morning. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust, folks. And so in case some of you might or might not know that uh he was taken into custody this morning uh authorities have detained a person believed to be connected with the fatal shooting of los angeles county sheriff's deputy who was killed in his patrol car over the weekend uh they're seek seeking more information and in, in, in details and reference to this guy's case deputy ryan clunkin broomer clinkin broomer C-L-I-N-K-U-N Broomer 30 shot Saturday shot Saturday while on duty at the intersection near the sheriff's station in Palmdale, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The deputy who got engaged only four days earlier was found unconscious by a civilian around 6 p.m. pronounced D-E-A-D -E at the hospital, Los Angeles County Sheriff 
Robert Luna said. This guy was just sitting in his patrol car. And I want to show you something else here. Uh, the guy was allegedly, you know, just sitting in his patrol car and he was more or less ambushed. And here's some information here I want to share of the surveillance of the, his, the, the guy that he just arrested pulling up to his car and doing this. It's just so sad. It's so, so sad about the situation. So this car here. Just bad, man. It's like a war on police. He just pulled over just for a second. This car pulls up. Shoots him and then takes off. Surveillance video from outside LASD, LAPD, Palmdale Station shows Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer patrol car pull up to a red light, then a black car pull up besides. The deputy car rolls forward slightly as the black car speds off. The murderer had to know about the cameras but didn't care. For no reason at all. And there's a growing problem in this country that it seems like it's the war on police and these people seem like they want to ambush police for no particular reason this guy it it's it's sad it's sad uh was parked outside the palmdale sheriff station when his k-i-l-l-e-r drove past and opened fire ambushed ambushed so they're going to give a press conference today. I want to find out who this dude is, like why and who this dude is. Uh, they, they apprehended him pretty quickly. Here is the sheriff's update on this situation. Now I want to share with you. So they put out, they ha they're having a press conference today. They call him a person of interest. A person of interest has been detained in the MURDER of Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer. A news conference will be held at approximately 10.30 a.m. That would be Pacific time. So that would be 11.30, 12.30, 1.30 uh, Eastern. Visit LAPSD, LA, oh, okay. So it's LASD, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department. I, I was saying LAPD earlier. It's LASD, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, Facebook, LASD, YouTube, and LASDHQ, Instagram. To watch it live so we're gonna watch this press conference when it happens this guy was out on the streets for a couple days before he got caught so obviously authorities used their technology probably surveillance and uh to nail this dude whoever he is whoever this guy is if anyone knows and recognizes this guy why did he do it you know why would this guy do this I did not see the M-U-R-D-E-R -E in Tampa this morning. Man, tough world, man. So sad that you would just be sitting in your car and then lights out almost instantly on that. So that is the latest development. I know people have been talking about this case. Uh, so it looks like an arrest. I mean, person of interest, it's arrest, right? Let's be real. He's been arrested. Uh, it is on YouTube. I was watching when you came on. Yeah. And this is a... This is basically a memorial service here for the uh, deputy. You know, and all the deputy people come out. It's just sad. Sad. You know. Session. Thank you. 
that's so sad, right? Unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. So I saw this a couple days ago and I was just like, what in the world is going on, man? Officer ambushed? For no reason. Like, it's bad enough when they get into shootouts with people in the line of duty. But this dude was, it was totally unprovoked. The guy was just in his car, pulls up to a red light. And then another vehicle follows him. Now, whether that vehicle was stalking him, whether they had beef earlier, we don't know. But it's that's just un... <laughs> I can't even imagine why and how something like that would happen. It's just so very, very sad. But I'll keep you informed of what's going on. So uh, when the press conference comes through, I will share it with all of you. Um... Other than that, there's no new information on that other than they got somebody in custody. So that's a good thing, right? Always a good thing. So we love our police. We support our police on this channel. On this channel, we back the blue um, law enforcement. You know, they're, they're, they're the front line of the defense to keep the community safe, right? And, you know, praying for this officer, this deputy's family, Ryan Clinkin. Clinkun Broomer, C L I N K U N Broomer, B R O O N E R. Um, so apparently, the address where they were at today to apprehend this guy here was the 37,000th block of Barrett, Barrettson Street in Palmdale. So it looks like it was the 37, 37700 block of Barrettson Street in Palmdale. And he surrendered. So it looks like this is the guy. So he's the guy. So pretty, pretty sad, and shocking, and uh, we will pray for the officer family. So that's the latest with this case. I'll keep you guys developed on, uh, keep you guys updated on this tragedy. JLR investigates. We will talk soon, everyone. Uh, praying for the officer's family. Everyone be safe.